Hello! Uh, hi there! It's me, it's Dave. How's it going, my friends? God bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining along for an exciting live stream today. Yes, we are wearing our fashion police hat, and we're going to be taking a look at some of the best fashions that are in MK11. So we have previously done a video detailing the ugliness of the game, and I thought it was only fitting to take a look at the things that are absolutely beautiful. Um, uh, unfortunately, this is very much like my opinion. I'm not saying that whatever I'm saying is correct. Please note that there is a high degree of subjectivity here. So if I say something is the best, please don't feel like I'm ragging on your favorite skin, that your favorite skin is no good. Our opinions will differ, but that's why this is also very fun that we have this live stream. It's nice to see what you guys are saying as we do the live stream um, about your favorite skins as well. Okay, so let's see. Is this thing working? Oh, it's working. Hey there, JJ. The Serum. Hey there, The Serum. My newest bunny. Thank you for joining the fam. Hey there, Daniel. Marky Boy. Shiny Hunter. Omar Khaled. Yay. Thank you so much, my friends, for being here. Hey there, Brayon. SXZM. When is Crypt Event number three? Probably in a week or two. <laughs> oh, oh wow but yes we are going to be talking about the things that are hot in this game the things that i think are perhaps the most desirable for every character not the gear pieces we're not really talking about the gear pieces my gear pieces are not matched but we are going to be talking about for every character on the roster the most beautiful skin but if you're not familiar um this is not the only thing that we do here at the jaded rabbit we don't only take a look at the fancy skins we also make lots of augment builds we cover crypt events the premium shop basically everything about mk11 so please do check out the channel please leave a like a comment a subscribe would be great really helps out all right yay so let's start off at the bottom of the roster last time we started with shang sung on what was most ugly we're gonna be starting from the bottom yay bottoms first today all right so we've got here rain i think that rain is really quite lovely in a lot of his base game designs i really like how different each of the looks are like each of the four base game costumes are very nice but something happens when we get to this classic ninja skin for rain specifically the default costume gives you quite an ultra violet color it looks really beautiful on the 4k ps5 i could only imagine what it looks like to the pc master race everything on the pc version of mk11 looks much better <laughs> so i'm quite interested to see what this skin looks like on pc but this is one of these skins that really picks up this color purple well the other skins in the outfits are i don't know they're they're all, they're all different shades of purple but i think my favorites gotta be a default classic rain we've also got here Fujin. So this could be um, also kind of controversial because I know a lot of people think that um, the DLC was rushed, but I thought that the DLC characters actually had some pretty good base game designs, Fujin included. So Fujin has four costumes. He's got like this anime, anime boy haircut in this second costume really like it i don't know he's got different hairstyles he's got really completely different looks like this is different from look number one look number two fujin is pretty overall he is such a pretty guy i think you can put him in any of these skins and it would be like the best one for fujin but my preference does go to this anime pretty boy spiky hairdo it's so cute. He's also got a cape. He's got glowing tattoos. 
He's beautiful. Yes, absolutely beautiful. I love the the mustard color here too. I know a lot of my uh, least favorite skins included mustard yellow, but I think that one's quite nice for Fujin. Oh wow. Okay, so moving on to Cetrion. So okay, so I guess this is where we start having some problems. I feel like Cetrion is colored way too many different things for me to associate one particular look with Cetrion. Like, she can have pink skin, she can have gray skin, she can be blue skin or green skin. Like, what skin is she actually supposed to be? So this is very confusing to me. Also, there's just an abundance of colors. The colors are very nice. I like the color play for Cetrion. But I feel like something identifiable about Cetrion is lacking. There's a lot of like earthy elements, but the colors are way too distracting, especially when you zoom out and you're like in combat. Like all of the Cetrions that I've ever faced in Combat League are different looking, and I think it's for this reason. They all have different the, all of her looks are just so different. Nothing really reads cohesive to me about Cetrion, aside from, I guess, like, earthy elements. But those you can barely notice. So here, I mean, like, maybe Combat League skins? I know Season of Quan Chi, Cetrion, that's something. But, I mean, it's not really that much different from some of these other skins that she's got in the base game. Like, if you're not really super keen, you wouldn't tell the difference between this and Season of Quan Chi. Cheese Cetrion. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure. And we've also got kind of like Mayan Goddess. This is probably one of her more successful skins, but it takes her completely out of like character. I'm gonna say I hate pretty much every Cetrion skin. <laughs> But we're going to keep this one. This is, I guess, my favorite because it was actually the last Meteor Tower skin that I needed to acquire. So we're going to we're going to say that this is uh, my fave. <laughs> but overall, I don't really like Cetrion's attire. All right. So let's see what you guys are saying. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining along. Um, Brayon, very nice rain. Yay. Um, Stitch, you'll be shocked if you find out who I really am. OK. Well, I guess that's the beauty of the anonym anonymity of the internet. Yay. Shiny Hunter, are you going to go over gear pieces too at some point? Maybe. We really do like... Um like we've had done like lots of fashion shows previously, but I've never really done one with um all of my favorite skins. So that's what we're doing today. But uh, with the gear pieces, we do take a closer look at them inside of old fashion shows i i guess i should update that because that is one area that I, I guess needs updating gear pieces because when i made those videos and now like there's been 17 seasons of combat league so i guess it's a worthwhile look okay all right shiny hunter you've convinced me into it <laughs> Uh, favorite gear pieces to be coming. <laughs> TBA. <laughs> all right. Okay. So, wow. Um, Melina. So, this is another instance where I thought, like, all of the DLC outfits, like, these DLC characters, I feel like they got a lot of love and care put into some of their outfits. Not Shiva. Not not really robocop i guess there are some exceptions but definitely like combat pack 2 it's really strong to me with melina and rain they both look so beautiful okay so this is my favorite part of melina <laughs> Teehee, <laughs> she's wearing panties or something. She's so cute. She's got a booty. Like, they were so afraid to have booty in the game at release. So I like that at least, you know, there's like one curvy feminine default outfit. Like, I could even say like the default outfit for Melina might be my favorite. However, I've got to give it to Baby Pink Melina because, yes, this MK2 variation has only been in the game once, and if you weren't playing during that one time to pick up this skin, I'm so sorry. But it is definitely one of the most rare Melina skins, and they're both so cute. So pretty. <laughs> Isn't Melina beautiful? 
<laughs> but I think this is also like a place where you could argue even just like the basic default costume is so amazing so like if you don't have baby pink melina at least you have the mk3 options which i don't really care for but i do love this one this is so cute like this like wrap mini dress it's not even a dress this like wrap top with like a shoulder piece this, it's all sorts of like different pieces of fabric very cool but i'm just <laughs> i guess i'm a tna man this is it's so pretty these simple things can satisfy me all right so we've got here sindel and i think that this is the best skin in combat league if you don't have this pink sindel skin it should be coming up in the premium shop pretty soon but she's so pretty she's so pretty i absolutely love this one not much has changed between this outfit and her default outfit in the game like this is a a reskin of something else that you can have like this costume right but it's just in different latex fabrics and leathers that makes it so alluring also uh like comparing the two parts <laughs> so as you can see she's lost these like like the like the keyhole feature of like the cleavage area it's gone now it's totally done away with she has like an open top exposing much cleavage <laughs> so it's, it's just amusing like lol they really did us well with season 16 combat league this is like one of the best seasons overall like her thighs they're so like bulging against the straps she's got thick thighs she's so pretty so yeah this sindel skin absolutely love if you don't have it i'm sorry i'm sorry all right so like my dislike for cetrions and her outfits the same can be said for collector now i love collector as a character i think he's he's kind of genius like a character who's only concerned about coin serving shao khan working in his like treasury <laughs> he's collecting taxes guys he's like a government bureaucrat <laughs> something about that is so amusing to me um but he suffers from like a lack of like identity and like cohesion across his different skins because all of his skins quite literally have him with different colors for his flesh it's just like what is supposed to collector like what is supposed like what is collector supposed to look like i don't really get like a strong sense of like what is collector supposed to look like other than he has a backpack and like extra arms six six arms he's got lots of arms so uh yeah and i mean like <laughs> what is this feature on his head why is he wearing a crown <laughs> so like a lot of his skins are just like so disagreeable so samey to like this one is just like no crown no shoulder piece now he's like now he's like um oh wait Where's that one? Now he's, like, naked. Like, I don't understand these skins for Collector, nor do I understand the Combat League skins for him, so I'm gonna say, like, they they all kind of not so hot. Mm, that's terrible. <laughs> that's terrible. Collector, he suffers in comparison to, like, Molina. Now, uh, Garrus. I, I guess you could say this, too, about Garrus. He's got a lot of, like, I don't know. Like, I just don't get who Gyrus is. I, I don't know what his color is supposed to be. There's just too many colors. It would have made sense if they stuck to, like, one, like, color story. Like, keep it neutral. Keep it bright. Keep it dark. But they're just all over the place. And it just leaves me, like, muddled. I, I don't really like a lot of his skins. Except for this purple one. This is about it. It's pretty cute. I like it. Also, if you put on, like, a certain gear piece. Okay, let's put it on. It's pink. <laughs> it's pink and purple. It's so cute. So, I like this one. Um, but really, I feel like these new characters introduced into the game, Cetrion, Collector, Gears, they are kind of, like, suffering 
And like, as we saw, there was a bunch of ugly skins at release. And this is when these characters were making their biggest impression on me, at least. And they didn't really stand out in terms of like, oh, that's sexy. I want to play with that character. Or that's cool. I want to play with that character. You know, I don't know. Okay, so let's go on to Terminator. I think this is my favorite skin for him. I think that Terminator is actually well done. I like I like Terminator skins in general. Like you have like a young casual t-shirt, casual wear, then you've got fancy leather jacket. I, I could I, I like the difference, even though it's just a jacket change. It really looks nice. Really looks nice on Terminator. I'm biased. I like Terminator. I love Arnold. Um, and then you've got like the Terminator Dark Fate interpretation of him. Which is nice, like, I am a Terminator fan, like, I was actually legitimately excited to see him within MK11, so I'm biased, I recognize that. But the one that I love the most is the one with the hole in his head, so this is, like, later on in Terminator Dark Fate, where he got, like, injured. Um, but yeah, this is probably, like, the last movie Arnold Schwarzenegger is ever gonna do, so I'm glad that it's, like, commemorated inside of this, like, video game that I love. So yes, awesome. So I love this one. It's also a good example of like how how NRS uses browns. Like here it looks like so distressed, so dirty. It looks so worn, but something about it reads so cool. I love it. <laughs> okay, so let's go on to Rambo. This is another character I felt that was like really done well in the game. Um, I feel like all of the skins are very like referential to different parts of the Rambo movies. I really like the um, potato sack canvas ones too. <laughs> There's just something like like when he's being hunted in the forest of Rambo 1, like in the beginning of the movie, I was definitely feeling for him. Like he's like cold and he has to wear like canvas sacks and people are killing him. But then he like offed that whole entire like helicopter of like police officers. So then, yeah, I started losing like ability for him. I don't know. OK, um, but yeah, all of his skins pretty well executed. I'm gonna say, like, this one's the most classiest, though. So this one with, like, the black jacket, the black jeans. He looks more formal as opposed to a homeless vagrant. Yes, I thought there was more words there. No, he's he's just a homeless vagrant wandering the streets. Um, But he looks pretty good. So for a homeless guy, I'm going to say that one the best. So yeah, I use him for my souls build. This is what gives me all of my souls. I do love this outfit. Pretty nice. All right, so let's um take a look at the comments. Let's see what you guys are saying. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining along. Coffee Gamer, I prefer Rambo shirtless outfits with the white pants oh well um yeah i guess i don't know something about it just seems like he's really sweaty <laughs> something about some of these shirtless skins reads sweaty to me and unclean <laughs> but i respect your opinion uh snoopy i am okay thanks coffee gamer hey there snoopy thank you so much my mods for being here helping make sure that everything runs smoothly um jake lacy hey say yo hello frank baby pink molina yep it's pretty nice jade what is katana crypt event okay we're getting a lot of comments about this we will be making a separate video about the crypt event whenever it comes out don't worry i will keep you guys informed um sayo golden jade is really good yes must agree all right so um shiva uh, all right so this is like one of these dlc characters i feel like did not get proper treatment like what are these skins i am not really digging any of these skins so like these skins have her the most naked and i don't like it so cover up shiva please then this other skin is she's just wearing ribbons guys this is so inappropriate like put on some clothes all right and then we've got this skin here is like this is like what she would wear at a female only gym to work out in 
Like, this is inappropriate for combat. Like, there's there's just some level of, like, ick that's going on here with her skins, and they're all pretty much the same level of nakedness. I think, like, the only appropriate skin that she has comes from her default costume. <laughs> so, I like me the pink one. So, like, can we find the, the pink one? I think it's, like, a light purple. Yeah, here we go. So, this is probably the, the best I can do for Shiva. Um, a lot of her other skins I find, like, inappropriate and, like, uh, and offensive so i think this is perhaps the best where she is most covered up she actually looks like she's gonna do like combat as opposed to the other ones where she's like at a female only gym working out in the privacy of females only yeah i don't want to see shiva naked that's just not i'm not here for that all right so kodal Ah, Kodal is so tough for me because um, I have a high degree of appreciation for his glowing tattoos. This is one thing I really like about Kodal, but Kodal as a character, I'm not here for. Like, he's the guy that plays politics in MKX. He's also the guy that has somehow captured my darling Jade's heart. How did this happen? I don't like that. So, I like the Conan the Barbarian skins. This is pretty good. It's also a reference to Terminator Arnold, which is, um, uh, once again, a biased thing. But I don't really think that these skins stand apart from the basic default skins that you can get in the game. So, I'm pretty much left with Bug Codal. I think that this was the most creative that the development team was creative with Kotal's design. Like, I like that he's a beetle. Like, I think that's pretty cool. Um, and he's also still got that glowy body, like, the glow through the holes of his exoskeleton. And that's pretty nifty. I, I like this, um, I like this outfit for him. I also like that the backside is kind of darker. Right? So, like, the front side is more of a vibrant yellow, whereas the back is more of a brown. So, it, it kind of, like, reads, like, he is showing his, like, danger parts to us when you see his front. <laughs> so, yay, I like that. Um, alright, so, Devora. alright, so, Devora. This is gonna be highly biased, my friends. I do play with Devora a lot, but, um, I love the bug outfits. In general, I think like her general th scheme, like this is this is one of the new characters that I feel does not lack an identity because there is a cohesion in her outfits that most of them contain a high amount of yellow. There is a lot of yellow in a lot of these skins that you can have for Devora. So for me, like identifying bug as yellow I, I, like that's that's a connection that's been made in my head for a while um so devora i like a lot of her base game outfits because they're so disgusting especially this naked one for devora like why does she have to be naked <laughs> You can see all the holes in her crotch. It's just so disgusting. You can just imagine bugs popping out from those holes. It's just so nasty. Um, but I think my favorite iteration of her has got to be this one. Nurse? Nurse Devora? This is like highly referential of those sexy nurses from Silent Hill that will kill you. Um, so I like that she's like covered up. I like that she's wearing gloves. I mean, it's just so different from everything else that you have in the base game for Devora. Because even when she's wearing this like dress, like that's not really even like pretty. It's not like a dress. But now you can have like a sexy nurse outfit for Devora. So this one has got to be the best one for Devora, I think. I mean, you could have this Combat League one. Meh. I mean, it's just a palette swap. But here she has a jaunty hat, and part of her blouse is undone. She is so alluring. <laughs> Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Aaron Black. I li I liked a lot of like the combat pack skins from like combat pack one. Um, Aftermath. I thought a lot of these skins were genius. So seeing Aaron Black as Indiana Jones, I love it. 
I love it. Did we talk about the Conan the Barbarian skin? I love Tar- I love Terminator. <laughs> I love Arnold. I love these 80s movies too, so it's nice to see these movies from my youth going up into the video game forever very nice so yeah i think like this is also a really good example of how nether realm really knows how to handle a neutral palette like everything is in shades of brown it looks good i mean like alternatively you could call brown poopy but i there's something rich and luxurious about this Aaron black i love it absolutely love it um i think uh, also really great skins and options for him are the combat uh league skins from season one and season two but i don't know they're just um palette swaps at the end of the day, I don't think I can be like super hyped to get like about a palette swap. Palette swaps are palette swaps. I'm gonna call it what it is. Um, uh, yay, uh, Scarlet. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. We need to take off her mask for this one. So this is the best skin for Scarlet. Period. Period. So the reason why it's best is that you can't even see it standing so we have to actually try it on like in practice so let's go to practice and i'll show you what i'm talking about with scarlet and none of her other skins do this and this is also another reason why i like devora in her nurse outfit is because both her and scarlet have the same physics like you can see up her skirt <laughs> T. <laughs> I love this skin for the simple fact of the physics. If there was more like stiffness to the outfit, I don't think I would enjoy it as much as well. It causes a sore point for a lot of players because they're not able to obtain these skins. But look, you can see under her jacket. T. <laughs> It also works when you teabag, too. You can see her booty. Guys, I love it. Okay, so, um, yeah. <laughs> alright, okay, alright, okay. So, we're almost at the end of this row. Let's check out Robocop. And I think my favorite for him... So, like, the thing about Robocop, I feel like a lot of his designs are boring and lazy. <laughs> I mean, you have, like, classic Robocop 1. Then you have, like, Robocop 2 with, like, the, like, broken stuff. But, like, the references to Robocop 3, I'm not here for because I did not like Robocop 3. Um, I also love this one, though. I think, like, this one is perhaps the best. Also, a lot of these skins suffer from, like, lack of, like, playfulness in color. A lot of these are just, like, shiny car colors. Which makes them feel like a really, like, old-timey, big Buick vehicle just like one of these like big boats of a car um i don't i don't like that but i do love the color play with the last outfit where he looks like a cyber ninja what a great way to incorporate a character into mortal Kombat, like by making him a lin Kuei cyber ninja like omg he's cyber reptile <laughs> That's so genius. I love this one too. Cyber Rain. This is so pretty. All he needed was like to have this in like more defining colors. Like here we have Sector Cyrax, right? You have Sector Cyrax, you have like Cyber Sub Zero, Cyber Smoke. But, um, yeah, I would have loved even more colors. Even more colors would have been genius. All of these skins down here are pretty genius. But I do love Cyber Reptile because we did not get Reptile in the game. And I feel like that's one thing I really would have liked to have seen in MK11 was, like, Reptile? Maybe? Or smoke. Smoke or reptile. All right, so let's see what you guys are saying. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, my friends, for joining along. Please don't forget to leave a like. 
Oh boy. Trying to find where we start here. Um, Trey, I really like the Adinian Pulse Katana skin. That's a Combat League one? The uh, red and black one? Yeah, it's pretty good. I feel like a lot of the Combat League uh, skins are pretty good, and once again, this is all opinion. We can all have differing opinions and still respect each other. Um, but yeah, it's a Combat League skin. Uh, Katana. She's so pretty, though. I think a lot of her skins are really good. Um, Shiny Hunter. Nice coffee. Coffee Gamer. I agree that Kotal outfits could have been a bit more creative. Yeah, I agree, my friend. Oh no, Coffee Gamer, don't choke on your water. OMG, Dave, I'm eating ramen right now. I literally almost puked. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Don't die. <laughs> um, that one guy, best skin, that's easy. It's Deception Sub-Zero. Uh, I guess we'll talk about Sub-Zero when we get there. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think I like that Deception Sub-Zero skin. All right, so I'm heavily biased with Jade. Jade is my main character in the game. Absolutely love Jade. Um, but I think, like, I can put aside my bias and say that a lot of her base game outfits just suck. A lot of them suck. I'm going to say everything from the base game could have been done better. So, yeah. I'm really unhappy about a lot of these base game skins for Jade. I think things got better once we got the MK2 skins for Jade. For the longest while, this was like my most preferred skin for Jade. Just because she's so pretty as MK2. Her first appearance in the game. Um, didn't really care for her Osh Tech skins. Because I don't like seeing her as Kotal's bride. So that's not good um i did like reptile jade but i felt like they could have done better did not live up to my expectations when this season was brand new but my favorite now is definitely golden jade golden jade is i think something kind of newer to the game i don't think this existed pr previous to aftermath in fact prior to aftermath the glow for this particular skin was more of a cyan matching her eye so her eyes have that like cyan chronica glow and all of the glow effects with jade were more cyan however there was a change made where she now has like orange orange is her accent color here so you can actually have a golden pole you can have an orange ring it's pretty cool and i think for that reason i i love it so much hopefully you guys get this skin though it's only available through the premium shop if you ever see me make a video about temporal assassin jade that's where it comes from um along that line i do like these Kronika assassin skins there's just something so amusing that you can turn the gear pieces orange like this is now like their color so that's some um, odd but i guess i'm here for it blue and orange are opposite each other on the color wheel and this particular shade of like pastel orange and cyan it, it goes well together for me i think it's something that you don't really see too often either in combat league mainly because i think a lot of people don't know that this actually happens with these skins but the white alternate for each of these Kronika skins gives you some pretty nice gear piece surprises. So yeah, I gotta go for the surprises. So the, the surprises do it for me. This is a lot harder to justify for Katana. Because Katana does have a, a wonderful assortment of skins from Combat League. I feel like she got the highest level of love in terms of combat league um she got fancy black and white skins no other characters have access to pure white skins like katana does with this one other than scarlet scorpion and aaron from season one as well these season one skins i wish that there were more skins like it for other characters in the game so katana's pretty special she's also got like ah uh, this is, this is such a great skin. You've got the meatball hairstyle plus the human flesh. She's so pretty. 
It's so pretty. You've also got purple with this one. It's so pretty. Like, the damn Katana. Why so pretty? She's also got like wonderful DLC skins. She can be Kitty Girl with a different hairstyle. What? She was also part of season nine with green glow. Uh, why wasn't Jade in that season? She also got another unique hairstyle with season 13, season of the fallen kingdom. <sighs> and then another unique hairstyle with summer heat. It's just too many options. Too beautiful for Katana. You could argue for any of these skins to be the best, but it's got to be this one for me. I love the yellow. <laughs> the yellow is so pretty. I love the Kronika skins. And mind you, my opinion may change. I think these things are pretty fair weather. They will change with the weather. Yes. Um, so, yeah, this may not be my favorite next week or maybe even tomorrow but it's what we're doing for today especially since it's part of a set with jade kung lao and katana they're just so beautiful guys they're so pretty all right okay so let's talk about Liu kang Liu kang is very troublesome I hate all of his skins, pretty much. So, I hate these um, Revenant skins. Like, what a waste. And they could have designed something better. I hate the skins without, like, a shirt. Without a shoe. There's just something so, like, inappropriate about it. I like this one costume, which is what he wore in the story mode for MK11. That's okay. It looks good. And then these Elder God skins. Like, if... People did not use them so much in Combat League. I might actually like them. But like every Liu Kang player I feel I meet in Combat League is wearing that silly Fire God Liu Kang outfit. I hate it. Um, Mexi Kang stands like uh, strong. He is very cool, very unique, very creative. There's something about Mexi Kang that I love. But I feel like when using him in combat, it leaves something to be desired. I think it's because the skins are just so overall dark that when you're on a dark stage, you just kind of blend into the stage. So as you can see there, as we turn away the lighting source from behind the character, he just looks... Yeah, he just kind of blends in especially from a distance um so i think like my favorite one has got to be the time warriors skin pack combat pack 2 pre-order exclusive this is the closest i can get to purple it's like a fuchsia it's like a pink but there's something so <laughs> seductive about this one he does not need to be naked to be seductive this is this is what i'm saying yes you don't have to be naked to be seductive like much like melina's default costume where you can only see like a whisper of her booty there's something so seductive about that okay let's let's go back to that one we have to put on the proper skin but yeah the default skin for melina like there's just a little peekaboo moment of booty and it's so seductive like i love it um not that i'm a melina main guys or that i even <laughs> like melina but yeah like she looks she looks good like that and something about Liu king with his like too tight a vest that cannot be buttoned up just revealing a little bit of his chest i find is more seductive than him being like shirtless plus he's also got cool arms he's got like he's supposed to be based on johnny Silverhands, is my understanding um yes he looks so good in this outfit it's wonderful it's also not a reskin so let's go yay very nice 
Cabal. 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 Uh, I like Cabal. I think actually Cabal's outfits are pretty creative. I like even his Revenant outfits because you can get some pretty interesting glows if you put on glowy gear pieces. Um, you've also got burned skin Cabal. You've got young Cabal with like the fur around the collar. That's so cool. Um, you've also got like, this is what I said, seductive. Like he's got just his shirt barely open he does not need to be naked you don't have to be naked to be seductive i think um he's also got like burned man psycho cabal like psycho cabal that's pretty cool too but my favorite's got to be the bug i love me a good bug uh, I guess and these are my favorites so you can see some trends here i love devora i love bug codal I love Bug Cabal. He is so cool. Plus, he's got, like, these gear pieces that coordinate so well. Like, this one's called Spider Eyes. Like, how are you not supposed to wear spider eyes with the buggy outfit? It just makes sense. Even his, like, hook sword, when it's on his back, makes it look like a wing. Let's, let's just do it. He's so pretty! Buzz buzz! Buzz away, Cabal! I love you. Yay! Even his, like, basic human skins. He's so cute, and he is, like, one of my most played with characters, so I guess I'm biased, too. He's my... I've even played him more than Jade, so wow. <laughs> I do love me a Cabal. Alright, so, let's get to Kano. Yay, Kano. Um, Kano, I feel like we were gypped. We didn't get all of the beauty of Kano because there were some skins that were not released. And if you check out my unreleased skins of MK11 Part 3, I think it was, we covered all of the unreleased stuff for Kano, and I kind of wish that he had gotten some of those skins. He had different facial hair. Like, this uh, this skin had a different, like, facial hair design, which would have been nice. I, I would have loved more option, more options, totally. But uh, I think like Kano is perhaps most successful with the Portuguese Brazilian pre-order exclusive um, Santa Brigida. That's the default outfit, Kangaskero Kano. Uh, but I do love the uh, golden variation that you can pick up here with, I think it's, yes, Sarah Talhada. So not all of the skins go golden. A lot of the skins kind of just have gray or black, but you actually get like golden ac accents on the cybernetic heart, on the eye shield. It's really, really pretty. And unfortunately, you can only pick up these skins from Race Against Time. So if you're missing any of these Kangaskaro Kano skins, including this green one, I do love the green one too, because it has that same golden accent. But I think that the red and black one is just a little bit more my mode. It feels more distinguished. I like it. And plus he's got his like too tight vest open. It's seductive. There's something seductive about this skin. So I really like this one for Kano. Much more than the like shirtless options. All right, so let's see what you guys are saying. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining along. Please don't forget to leave a like. All right, so let's see what you guys are saying here. Just want to make sure I, I'm not missing anything here. Um, Dave, you so rich, having the best skins. I actually didn't spend any money on this game for Time Crystals. And plus I found I discovered the infinite time crystal glitch which kind of like negated the need to ever buy time crystals so yeah I've always just had time crystal in the game yay um uh I do like the purple color coffee gamer yay um the M3-esque classic ninja skin is insulting on Robocop I think it's a great way to tie him in I like it <laughs> but I respect your opinion um Stitch Dave I like Scarlet Spy Skin so much, it goes 50-50 with Cold War for me. Um, so, the thing about Scarlet's um, a fancy, like, white 
like uh time warriors skins i feel like a lot of them look the same i think there was like missed opportunity here um also i know it's true to form to how she looked in the mkx comic books but something bothers me about this tail flap crotch flap situation in the front as you can see there's like this big red towel covering her crotch why why um i also really like i guess the best skin out of the uh pack for me is this one this white skin really do like it but it's just so similar like at a distance it's so similar to this one i'm just not sure i think i would have liked the skins more if there were color sliders could you imagine a hot pink spy ninja outfit <laughs> Lol. Um, Brayon, the best skins for Liu Kang are Exalted One, Young Justice, Heart of Fire is great too. I know that a lot of people really like yeah, Young Justice. It comes from the Crypt event, but mm, mm, I don't know. I'm not I'm not so keen on it. I mean I guess maybe it's good. It's all right. We'll say it's all right. No, it's not. He's wearing. He he has no shirt on, guys. What uh, manners? Manners, please. Joey, hey Joey. Brayon, uh, K uh, Katana best skins are Lost Queen and Summer Skin. Oh boy, yeah, the Summer Skins are very pretty. Love the fancy uh, dress that she's wearing for that one. I don't. Uh, I, I I don't like though that Katana gets so much special treatment versus the other characters like she's so pretty um that one guy okay so we like shirtless guys here in the live stream chat this is what i'm seeing <laughs> very nice um katana has some great skins for sure says joey uh, shiny hunter agrees yay w wish she didn't have all those inputs totally agree too many inputs for katana it gets confusing trying to remember her combo strings um uh, snoopy uh, yay thank you snoopy for making sure um things are okay here in the chat uh, joe great choice for a new video keep on making such entertaining videos thank you joe love you my friend my favorite skins are the golden skins for noob cybot yes i those are pretty good pretty good jay-z called me yesterday lol <laughs> okay mz very cool can you get me an autograph from beyonce <laughs> Uh, Joey, the they are nice skins. Wish they would make the white and red Time Warrior available. I totally agree. Um, it feels bad that some of these things are so rare, but they are pretty. Can't deny it. Stitch, Dave, Liu Kang has some Fire God skins that are very no. That's not true. You can pick up all of the Liu Kang Fire God skins from the neck. Naden Shrine for a hundred thousand coin donation. Do check out my other video. Uh, you should visit the neck Naden Shrine. <laughs> Um, you really should. You're gonna get those Fire God Liu Kang skins, no problem. Alright, so wow, we've taken a look at over half of the roster. Let's keep on trucking. So we've got here uh, Sub-Zero. I have problems with Sub-Zero. A lot of problems, in fact. Um, I don't really care for a lot of his base game designs. Like, the default skin for Sub-Zero, I don't really like. Made all the worse by this ugly, horrible color palette. It's just so vomit. Like, <laughs> why did they think that these colors were appropriate? It's just so disgusting. Um, and then you get, like, the basic ninja look. It's too basic. Come on, guys. You couldn't put sparkle or glitter or shine somewhere? It's just all so basic. So I feel like Sub-Zero is kind of let down in the base game. Things kind of pick up once you get to his combat pack skins with the classic ninja looks. This looks good. I like this. I don't think that it's too basic because you get a nice mix of materials with the fabric choices going on for the trim, the sash, 
the pants. They're all different. It looks very nice. I actually really like the design for these ones. But then you get like terrible decisions like that one, <laughs> Dimitri Vegas. Um, uh, I do like the golden Sub-Zero just because it's gold. It's nice. A lot of people are going to say that Eternal Clash Deception Sub-Zero is nicest. But is it really because of the design, or is it because of its rarity? I'm just not sure about Deception Sub-Zero. I really, I really don't care for it. I would say it's a toss-up for me about what's the most beautiful for the guy. I like the pink. Do like the pink. Let's actually switch to the axe. Like, it's... <laughs> It's Sub-Zero's big, hard, pink, dot, 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 axe. <laughs> the long, big, big, pink handle. <laughs> Something about it just makes me go teehee. Um, but the other thing that I really like, which is kind of surprising for me to even admit, I like this collector's edition for Sub-Zero. There's something so... Like, I've got rich pajama pants. They're like velvet, satiny, and shiny. Like, this is so pretty. <laughs> There's something so delicate about it, but contrasted with the black, it also seems very serious. <laughs> like, he's not joking. And he's also got a big purple axe. Like, <laughs> There's something so pleasing about this one particular skin for Sub-Zero, Winter Derichico. Derico. I like it. I don't know. I think that's probably like a controversial decision opinion, but do let me know. Do let me know. Um so I had this skin on for Jackie. We should have changed it. This is not my favorite skin for Jackie. I actually think that her base game skins are very successful. I love the flowy dress. So at base game release, like in 2019, April 2019, this was probably the most feminine outfit in the game. Like a legitimate dress. It's so pretty. <laughs> It's so pretty. I love the way the the orange and like the the more yellow one, uh, the orange and gold colors, they look so beautiful against her skin tone. She looks so pretty. I think it's also really lovely all of the other colors that you get. It's so playful. And I have like no idea how this fits into the canon of the game. <laughs> It's just so out there. It's so fantasy that I love it. Like, she could be, like, a witch or a wizard or something. And, like, wave a wand or something. She looks so pretty here with the fancy, flowy Renaissance dress. It does not make sense with her being, like, an army soldier. <laughs> like, how do we go from the contrast of, like, army fatigues to pretty flowy dresses? So, yeah, I would love the, um, the culmination here with her base game outfits with uh, costume number six. Looks pretty nice. I, I would say it's uh, between the orange or the gold. I like the uh, the the more yellow version, so we're, we're gonna say that's my fave Jackie outfit. Um, Raiden actually, I feel, has two great options. So Raiden has access to classic movie Christopher Lambert skins. These are all pretty unique because they do give you different lightning effects. So that one's orange. You can also have here like a uh, white so there's just all sorts of different colors that you can play with with Raiden so that's very exciting I'd say any of these Christopher Lambert skins are amazing just for that simple fact that you can really like individualize your your Raiden more so than with any of the base game costumes which are limited to blue or red lightning effects like you have a nice selection here and this red kind of still looks different from like the red that you get in the base game so let's put on the default outfit this one's more of like a darker villainous red but you get more of like a heroic pale red here 
with Raiden. I like it. I really like that they paid attention to all of the lightning effects for Raiden. And Jade's Witch Jade outfits used to do this. It used to have different glow effects for all of her different witch outfits corresponding to the glowing uh, thing that's on her belt. There's like a little like vial on her belt and it glows. Uh, that used to be the color of the razor rings, the color of the poles. Unfortunately, that was taken away from Jade and given to Raiden. <laughs> I don't know why, um, but Raiden even has access to Jade's green glow. So I think this is one of the best combat league skins in the game um raiden gets this wonderful green lightning that's very much exclusive to season nine season of a lost souls so yeah that's um that's uh, that's amazing i do love these skins for raiden i think he's got a lot of nice options there um but uh base game wise even base game wise let's let's just take a little look see here because if you don't have these skins it's nice to have something else that you can play with but i i guess like base game wise i like this skin a lot this costume for raiden there's just a delicate intricate cloud pattern going all over his outfit so that's so beautiful i like that raiden can be delicate you've also got a wonderful selection of colors so that's uh, that's another good option for raiden but yeah christopher lambert or green Mountain Dew Raiden. Alright, so this is not going to be any surprise if you've been following along so far. Really do love the bug skins for all of the characters. <laughs> I love me a good bug. And the thing is, too, with these skins, there's a lot of built-in humor. Like, there is a spider on Baraka's booty. Like, do you see this? He's got eight legs, this spider, and it's clinging to his backside. It's just so cute. It's absolutely cute. I really, really like this skin for Baraka. Uh, I guess uh, you could also say that this skin is good for Scarlet, too. But a Cold War definitely wins out. Very intriguing, too, that Baraka's toenails have been taken off from Baraka. And they have been applied to cabal like he has the baraka toenails here so odd so humorous so crazy so yeah baraka i really like it uh for the most part i hate a lot of his base game skins <laughs> a, lo a lot of the times when i see shirtless characters i i think that they're <laughs> sweaty like this there's just so many of these bare chested barracas like put on some clothes do you really need to run around in a loincloth with some like crotch flaps i don't like the crotch flap design too in general like scarlet has that with her time warrior skins a lot of baraka skins have that and then like a lot of gira skins have this like crotch flap mud flap situation like take it off i wish there was a toggle that you could remove these like offensive pieces of clothing oh yeah here it is on noob too oh wow okay so noob has been very blessed noob has been very blessed he has gotten so many colors with time warriors these are all very amazing but i think like yeah, I think we're going to have to agree that Golden Noob Cybot is the best. Um, Reptile Noob, it's an interesting take on this, but I feel like like some of the design is is lost here. Because you can have maskless versions of this outfit with Jade kung lao and scorpion but you can't have that with noob and it makes me really curious to know like what's under the helmet <laughs> like i want to know could, it, did they design scales to cover his whole face i guess we'll have to like figure out like pc mods but according to this classic ninja look oh no let's put that on jiang shi Let's also put this on investigation. Okay, so yeah, so they did do like scaly things for his eyes, but not really for his flesh. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I still want to see him without a helmet. I feel like this one's kind of lazy. I think Gold Noob Cybot, really a great example of how shiny and ostentatious some of these skins can get and still be viable options for Combat League. Like, this is beautiful. Um, but you know what? We're not wearing the proper um, mask. <laughs> Let's wear the proper mask here. Um, can we get the white one? Oh, okay. We've got the... Oh, no. We've got crazy... Crazy face one. Oh, that's so beautiful. <laughs> There's something so beautiful about this, like, pale white, silver, and gold combination. It's breathtaking so yeah i think he's the best example from season eight and probably the best skin for noob within this game of mortal Kombat 11 all right let's get to um a scorpion uh let's also uh swap around a gear piece here so unfortunately you really need to have like some fancy gear pieces for some of these skins to really appreciate them. Um, any of Scorpion's glowing gear pieces will give you a green glow with Eternal Clash Scorpion. There's something so beautiful about this. Um, there's a lot of intricate design. Contrast this with Eternal Clash Sub-Zero, which is, I felt kind of basic. It was very much similar to his default costume that already exists in the game. But this is completely different. And to think that this is a design that was in MK9, but just updated with 4K graphics, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Plus, he's a bug, guys. I love bugs. <laughs> He's a scorpion. He looks like he's got some sort of exoskeleton deal. He's also got like sp like spiky scorpion points on his epaulets. He's so beautiful. I also really love this one too where he's like beige all over. Like this is another example of how Netherrealm can do well with these neutral palettes. A lot of the time, brown and yellow, for some characters, looks like poop and pee. But this looks like he's a bug and he's ready to sting, guys. Watch out. So yeah, I love this one for Scorpion. Hands down. I think that like you can make an argument for some of these other skins for scorpion like his combat league skins they are all actually really well designed a couple of characters in combat league got all of the blessings they got all of the flowers scorpion noob katana really outstanding for all of their different seasons um but uh yeah something about eternal clash just does it for me so let's see what you guys are saying omg do you agree is this the most beautiful one um let's take a look hopefully i'm not missing any of your comments but don't forget i read each and every one of your comments after the video goes up so please do leave a question leave a comment i'm always happy to to help lord x i got mk3 skin before okay the skins that i like the most is cold war scarlet i don't have them oh no sayo like two years ago i got the classic pack classic a good means a good for me okay yeah the classic looks they're good i like that they're in the game but i'm not gonna say they're necessarily my favorite I think there needs to be some, like, elements of design as you go on with the game. Like, like this one came from, like, MK9, but there's just so much added detail that makes it kind of stand apart from the MK9 outfit for Scorpion. Um, Shiny Hunter could be meant to pick up the color of the skin. Okay. Um, uh, whoever thought Dark Blue Sub-Zero should have yellow ice should be fired. Well, they say here in Canada, don't eat the yellow snow. I think that's a good life lesson. <laughs> don't eat the yellow snow, kitties. Um, that's because, well, like, you know, here, like, we actually used to eat snow as children. There was this thing called a caban a sucre, where you could get, like, um, maple syrup sap put on snow, and you eat that, and it's, like, tasty. 
<laughs> but don't eat the yellow snow. <laughs> okay, um, Jackie has no good outfits in the game. I don't know. I like that she's so feminine compared to the other characters in the base game at release at 2019. Jackie is one of the most feminine characters in the game. Fight me. <laughs> Scarlet was not pretty at release. She definitely got better with MK2 classic skins. Um, I like Jackie's rainbow Sadie jackets. Yes, I do love it. It's like the pride charm in DVD. <laughs> I love it. Um, Joey, she looks great in purple too. Totally agree. I love the pinks, the purples, the golds on Jackie. She's so pretty. Um, Sam1, I'm a big fan. Can I get a shout out? Okay, special shout out to Sam1. Is there any crypt events happening? Don't worry. We will be making a separate crypt event video when it happens. Joey, I agree. Just let them run around in their underwear. I don't know. <laughs> I would be okay if it was a dating simulator and, it, and you had to work up to that. <laughs> I do love me a stupid dating simulator. All right. What is the next combat league? Asks Mohammed. It's going to be happening this Tuesday. Um, I feel the same way about MK9 Scorpion. Oh, no. Okay. Well, I'm glad that we agree. Yay. Um, Bojack. Cool. Did I miss everything? Oh, no. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. We've, uh, we've covered a good bit of the roster. Still just a little bit more to go. And we're almost there. Um, okay, so for spawn, I really had problems with this one. Um, I don't really like spawn, I guess. I never got into the movies, never got into the cartoons, never got into the comics. So a lot of the references that are made here for spawn are kind of lost on me. Like you can have commando spawn, you can have like muscly, veiny, disgusting spawn. Something about this like exposed flesh just doesn't seem right. Um, and then you can also have this like spawn but I feel he looks like Noob Cybot a lot. Like, doesn't Noob have a mask that looks like this? Is this a reference to one of his comics or something? I'm not certain. So I like this one. Here he looks the most superhero-y in, like, a body contouring outfit. Very um, Speedo all over vibes. I like it. So I think that this is uh, my favorite favorite outfit for Spawn. The particular color, though, will be a toss up. I do love this like dark maroon burgundy color. I also really like the black and yellow. Something be like something insect like about it that i enjoy um so yes i do like this but it's also kind of like like a, here's an arrow to my crotch <laughs> like do you see this do you not see this arrow pointing to his taint <laughs> wow <laughs> imagine if you could have like 360 revolution of the characters like you could see their bottom that would be great <laughs> I remember, like, in the Pokédex, when you could, like, inspect your, um, care like, your Pokémon, you could, like, turn them upside down. <laughs> and look at their bottom. Bottoms first today. This is what I said. All right, so, uh, let's take a look at Jax. I feel like my favorite Jax outfit, and it's gonna be crazy. I'm so sorry that it's crazy. But it's because there's also a matching set of gear pieces that goes along with this outfit. So let's put on everything appropriately all right so it's this one dead jacks revenant jacks i know it's crazy right um but i much prefer this outfit compared to anything else he has in the base game or from other combat leagues look how glowy his his ear can get he's hearing me talk about him his ears are glowing red he's so interesting this is such an interesting take i feel on zombie undead because he's fully got zombie arms guys like these are zombie arms that's so cool that he got zombie arms to go along with his zombie skin my only like 
desire is that this could have been in purple because I do associate purples with Jax, but he's got a matching like zombie, like um, what's it called? Thumper? I think that's what the gear piece is. Yeah, thumper and a matching buckle. That's so cool. I love that somebody like really wanted to go matchy matchy with Jax, and this is what they came up with. Um, I feel like a lot of his other skins. I'm not here for. So I don't like... I've already expressed my <laughs> dislike of these bare-chested characters. It's just so inappropriate. Like, who goes into Walmart walking in bare-chested? Where's the class? Where's the dignity? Um, hmm. I guess I do like some of these young Jax outfits. This is actually really cute. <laughs> I like this one. He cute. Uh, also, he's not, like, fully exposed. He's wearing, like, a hint of a vest. Very cool. Um, uh, this stripper vest attire that you see, like, on Cabal, Liu Kang, Jax, I guess I'm here for it. Um, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, we're gonna leave it at Zombie Jax, best for Jax. Alright, best for Cassie, no-brainer, it's gotta be this one. Pink Cassie. She's so cute. And if you disagree with me, like, I'm so sorry, but you must be blind. <laughs> you must be blind. She is so pretty in this, like, pink latex outfit. It makes absolutely no sense. Like, what girl would wear latex yoga pants and work out in them? You would need, a, like, a heavy amount of body, like, baby powder to squeeze your body into, like, sticky latex outfit. There, it, there's just a lot of, like, unseen maintenance that's going on with this skin. So I must agree for that. And if you're noticing that I'm focusing on her backside, there's a reason. She got a BBL, guys. Her booty got bigger. She got more thick. <laughs> I love it. So I think that Cassie had a, had a pretty nice booty in the in the base game i think it's also highlighted with the uh thigh armor like it really highlights her booty <laughs> i'm so sorry we're talking about lots of booty today but this is why i like some of these skins <laughs> this is why i like some of these skins but she totally got a bbl she got a she got a butt lift guys that's amazing so i'm glad that <laughs> the developers someone someone paid enough attention to cassie to give her that for season 16. once again season 16 is one of the best seasons of combat league it's soon to be here with season 32 not next season but the season after that all right okay so we've got sonya i think like sonya is like, she's got, like, some good outfits in her base game attire. I really do like the tank top and workout pants. It's pretty nice. I think it's, like, very referential to, like, Sonya's, like, past in, like, MK1, where she was just wearing, like, green aerobics outfit. <laughs> So you can sort of emulate that here, MK1, that vibe for Sonya. Pretty good. Um, I also really like the classic MK3 outfit for Sonya. Looking pretty good. Really like these MK3 outfits too. Um, but I think it's probably a movie skin for Sonya that does it for me. I really fell in love with Mortal Kombat with that original 1995 movie. I was not allowed to play the arcade with my sister when she would play this game. So uh, I was pretty much relegated to the movies as being my only way to digest Mortal Kombat. And for that reason, like this kind of outfit sticks to me. I love it. It's so pretty. She looks like she does from the movie. The only thing that could have been, made it better is like at the end of the movie when she becomes like Shang, uh, Shang Tsung's captive and she's wearing rags. I would have loved a rags look for Sonya um, because her hair was loose and it was like a super short skirt 
and like Johnny was liking her outfit. <laughs> I remember that much. I loved her outfit too at the end too. So that like slave, <laughs> Shang Tsung slave outfit. That would have been cool too for Sonya. Oh wow. Okay. So let's go on to Johnny. Now, I, I did say that I loved the Christopher Lambert for Raiden, the classic movie outfit for like uh, Sonya. Uh, unfortunately, I, I did not choose this one here for Johnny, even though it is very much true in form to the original movie. I had to go for Teen Wolf. Like, he's so cute. Um, there's something about not being totally bare chested, but just like just a little sliver of exposed skin that can be equally seductive too. Um, but I love that they really went all out and they gave him like fur on his arms and he's like brown all over. He has like a different like wolfy skin texture, which is pretty nice. And this particular color combination of blue and yellow uh, definitely draws references to that Michael J. Fox movie. <laughs> so yeah, I really like the Teen Wolf movie with Michael J. Fox. Pretty good. Um, Joker. Joker's got like lovely costumes for all of his costumes. All of his costumes are pretty dapper. He looks like he's he's got himself a fancy tailor. I think that a lot more love and appreciation went into Joker's designs. Um, I don't know all of the comic book references for this because I was more of a Marvel comics guy as opposed to DC comics. But I think the argument can be made that uh, any of these skins for Joker are the best because he's just so well designed. Um, I think like him, Melina, Rain, Katana... Like, these characters are definitely blessed in the amount of options of skins that they can rely on from DLC, from their base release. It's just so pretty. So I'm going to say that my favorite, though, is Black and, Black and Fuchsia? Black and Magenta? It's It's got some of that Melina purple thrown in there. But you've also got, like, festive feathers. Like, he's plucked a turkey and... Now he's wearing it on his jacket, which makes no sense. But he's also got ruffles. <laughs> like, none of his other skins have these ruffles. That's pretty cute. I think option number four for Joker is the most successful. So pretty. He's also got, like, the three-piece suit. He's got... He's got a shirt. Oh, no, no. It's not three-piece. I thought he had the vest. No, the vest is in the other outfit. Let's see. Yes, here we go. This is where he's got the jacket, the vest, and the pants. Uh, yes, he's very sartorial, guys. He's so beautiful. And I don't think um, anyone could really call any of Joker's outfits ugly. They're, they're all so good. So we're going to go with the uh, Black and Fuchsia. Let's also see what you guys are saying. Thank you so much for joining along. We're almost there at the end. OMG, Raiden has the best 95 movie costume. Yeah. So you only like 95 movie costumes too. No, I don't like the Johnny 95 costume love the lightning the voice and how it looks yes do you love christopher lambert vaseline a lots of vaseline to get in those latex skins uh, yes joey that's what i'm talking about like there is just a whole lot of manicuring that has to be going on here because you must be hairless as well to get into these pants <laughs> love it all right um oh wow okay so uh, that one guy oh man i feel bad for sonya her best are the 95 skins and her mk3 skins i agree don't like the cassie skins too much a fatty doesn't make a skin good looking i don't know <laughs> i love the detail i love the thought that's gone into this skin really it's all sorts of equal amounts of fantasy and reality mixed into this one skin um that one one guy, Revenant Jax is ugly. Oh no. Well, <laughs> differing opinions, but I think it's probably the only one that I like out of the Revenant skins that much. Um, let the dice roll. Dave, who do you think, uh, do you think that Scorpion and Sub-Zero skins from pre-order will be available at some point in the game? 
I mean, like, I made a video about this. I don't think it's likely that we'll see those return. Eternal Clash skins will likely not return this year or next, given that everything is running on a schedule. Um, but, you know, I want to say don't give up hope. Do contact WB support. Let them know that you want the skins. Maybe an, if enough people contact WB support and let them know that they are looking for these skins, that WB actually steps in and then makes these skins available for purchase. <laughs> Would be nice. Um, uh, I'm hopefully I'm not missing anything. Uh, Bojack, I'm late. No, you're never late. No one's ever late. Um, the party don't start till you walk in. Um, is Cold War coming back? That was also the topic of that video. Cold War, Eternal Clash, Baby Pink Molina. These are things that are likely not to return. All right, so we've got ourselves Nightwolf. I think Nightwolf overall, I really like a lot of his skins. Something about this reads very Team Jacob from Twilight vibes. Like we are like we are Bella and we are choosing Jacob over Edward. <sighs> There's something so, like, village people, too, about some of these skins. So how could I not love that? They are really colorful, really, like, festive. Really festive. I will say that I don't like old Nightwolf. So we have a couple of options for Nightwolf. We have old Nightwolf. We have, like, kind of undead Nightwolf, Revenant Nightwolf. Then we have, like, the young Team Jacob outfits that i love so it's these half of the skins that i really like and i particularly like this one amaruk it gives you like a nice like turquoise <laughs> a nice uh, turquoise look to the accents of the gear pieces like his tomahawk his uh war axe what's it called war club and tomahawk they are both very turquoise they look so beautiful so i love this like particular color combination for nightwolf um i also think that you have like a lot of variety too like to suit your personal preference like if you don't like that hairstyle you can wear like a wolf on your head or you can wear a full face helmet so like there's a lot of options for nightwolf in terms of hairstyle that a lot of other characters do not have unless your name is Sindel or Katana um, there's not a, an abundance of hairstyles oh I guess Scarlet Scarlet does have a lot of hairstyles too but this is nice for Nightwolf um, very much like that one um, now let's get to Frost and I don't know I was gonna say that I love the classic Frost look but i think it's a toss-up really i really do enjoy these glowy options that you can also have for frost like this kind of looks kind of disgusting this kind of like sea foam blue plus yellow but i like the blue and yellow i like the different colors that she has access to they're all quite vibrant but there is a predominance of blue and like dark grays that are going on with the outfits that you don't get so lost in the color. Um, I feel like you get really lost in the colors for Cetrion and for Collector. But with Frost, it doesn't really feel like that because everything's kind of grounded in this like cool color palette. Well, except for this, like, crazy yellow accent color that's very warm. Um, but yes, I really love this contrast and the cohesion from this one particular outfit in the base game for Frost. So yeah, it would be a toss-up between that or the classic Frost. And once again, it's all about the booty because this is the only outfit for Frost that allows her to have booty um we've spent a lot of this out this live stream looking at people's behinds um but yeah like this is like robot booty right and you can even see here like she got like the bbl that cassie got too so <laughs> i find that so amusing like that i guess that was like the thing of 2021 like all of the girls are going to get <laughs> butt lifts Oh, wow. Okay, so, um, Shao Kahn, OMG, 
I think it's got to go to Purple Shao. Or not Purple Shao. Golden Shao. Um, Golden Shao is so beautiful. I mean, like, it's also from that same category of Noob Saibot. These, like, skins are just basic palette swaps. But they're done so nicely with this pure white silver accent and gold main tone it's so pretty also love the other one where you get like white leather straps running across his body it, the like the attention to detail with these skins and the choices to really change the colors to this i wish that more characters had received this treatment and i wish that jade's outfit from this season was better <laughs> i feel like it wasn't as good as either shao khan or noob so that's kind of sad but yeah this is probably my favorite for shao khan and then for shang sung this is going to be real controversial um his ugliest skin is also his best skin <laughs> I know I ragged on this skin a lot <laughs> in the ugliest skins of Mortal Kombat 11, but I think it's also his best skin. <laughs> um, I prefer it because <laughs> it's just so ostentatious. It's so gaudy. It's so in your face <laughs> that I can't deny it. I mean, like, I think it's ugly. It, no doubt. It's definitely ugly, but is it so ugly that it's right? <laughs> I know um, he got a lot of skins added to him with Aftermath where he can have a crown and he can have like gold scalies and things like that. But mm, mm, I also really like the armored version here. Like you've got young Shang Tsung, but he's wearing lots of armor. You don't really have that option in the base game. Like, he's got, like, some outfits with armor, but that's usually for the older Shang Tsung. So I like that from Aftermath, but yeah, it's it's got to be this thing. This thing is so ugly that it's beautiful. <laughs> Um, because I guess it's like on like it's not a it's not like a like a linear thing. It's a circular thing. Eventually, it becomes so ugly that it's so beautiful. Um, but yay! Wow. Okay, so we got through like everyone. <laughs> so crazy. But now let's actually define the top three best skins in the game. So I am. Torn. <laughs> I am so torn because it's really hard to limit it to just three. But I'm going to have to say that Sindel definitely top three. She is somewhere in the top three. I'm not sure if she's number two or if she's number one or if she's number three. Uh, I think we'll just have a tie. We're going to have a tie of the best skins. Sindel is beautiful. There's no way around it. There's no competition. No one is as feminine as season 16 Sindel. She is definitely Miss Universe the queen of the ball she is beautiful yes absolutely love this skin i would have to say also that in that top three in that top three we have to include <sighs> We, ha we have to include Scarlet. Uh, I don't think... Okay, so S Sindel's beating Cold War Scarlet. This is going to be number two. Um, uh, Cold War Scarlet, number two. So uh, <laughs> I retract what I said. Sindel is number one. She's the most beautiful in the game. Beauty. Beauty personified with Sindel. Um, but I love this look for, for Scarlet as well. Just because of the cloth fabric physics so as we demonstrated earlier you can really get an upskirt shot <laughs> with this particular outfit there's all sorts of like player fan service appreciation going on with this particular outfit i think it's 
amazing it's so beautiful so pretty and if you don't have it i'm so sorry i'm so sorry um i really hope that they bring this around again to the premium shop and if you're curious about when it'll appear don't hesitate contact wb support ask them when this thing is coming back to the shop please please ask them maybe they'll listen to you um but yeah this is just too beautiful i don't think you can argue with that i think it's better than time warriors i think it's better than season 16 cassie i think it's better than classics uh frost i think it's better than a lot of the things in the game all right okay so we got number one sindel number two scarlet and then i, I think number three for me and I'm trying to be objective about this because I don't want to seem biased and choose Jade and Devora because those would be pretty up there for me. But I can respect the fact that like my Jade with her golden outfit and like my Devora with her outfit in this like sexy nurse. Like this is not everyone's cup of tea. But I think, like, everyone's cup of tea can include Season 16 Sindel, C uh, Cold War Scarlet, and then I'm going to have to give it to, to Classic Rain. I think he's the best out of the Classic Ninjas, aside from Frost. Classic Frost is pretty good, but uh, I'm going to give it to Rain, because I feel like the colors are very successful with Rain. There's something just magical about this color i can't quite describe it i think that this purple is not natural in nature and i think this is why i can't describe it because this is a purely synthetic color nothing exists like it in the real world um and the way that it plays with the lighting hmm it's it's just really really beautiful so here you can notice it very significantly because you only have one lighting source when you're on this stage so you can really see the darks and the lights of the purples with this outfit now you're not going to get the same experience with the other colors of this outfit which is meh but i think that's why this skin probably does better than the other ones in the set like here you've got like lighter purples kind of like a fuchsia with the turtleneck it looks good but you don't get enough of this ultraviolet purple ultraviolet ultraviolet purple it's so violent <laughs> it hurts me because this is something that does not exist in nature it's so beautiful so yeah i'm gonna say that my top three sindel scarlet rain what do you think who is who are your best skins in mortal kombat 11 i know that um eternal clash scorpion eternal clash sub-zero these things are very popular but i think for that reason that also is why it does not appeal to me as much because they are so popular I guess I like the road less traveled. Um, but uh, yeah, I think objectively speaking, you could have like Season 16 Sindel, Cold War Scarlet, and Classic Rain all walk down a runway and they would be like, ooh, beautiful. But there's something kind of basic about Eternal Clash Sub Zero and something very buggy about scorpion right i mean like he's named after a bug um i think that's not as objectively as beautiful as like a sexy prince in purples that do not exist in this natural world <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna go rain sindel scarlet i might change my mind next week tomorrow in an hour that's the way things go with fashion but um i'm really quite interested to know what you guys think is the most beautiful in the game let's change her hair this hair i was kind of going for like dikey aggressive look but that's probably not the most beautiful hairstyle for sindel what's some um, oh she's got a feather where's the one with the flower give me the one with the flower in her hair i like that one oh 
Okay, oh no, Sindel, just have to give you a quick facelift. <laughs> Things are drooping, my dear. We need to give you a better hairstyle. <laughs> Fix your hairline. Hmm, where's the one with the flower? Give me the effing flower. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, OMG, would really love to know, um, oh, uh, like, uh, what is your favorite skin? What is the most beautiful for you? Um, because not necessarily your most favorite skin is the most beautiful. Like, my most favorite skin is probably the Jade skin, but it's not the most beautiful, I think. I think that there are a lot more beauteous things in the game, like Sindel, like Rain, like Scarlet. Um, oh, here's the flower. That's why I couldn't find it, because it was a white flower. Oh, you know what white means, right, guys? She's pure. Virgin as the pure white driven snow. <laughs> oh, lovely. Okay. All right. So, Joey, color is great on Rain, but can't compete with Frost's BBL. <laughs> I totally agree. Okay, you want to know who had the ultimate biggest BBL? It's gonna have to be... Kyrus. <laughs> He's got some bootylicious outfits. And if you could take off the crotch flap, you would better see his clearly defined booty. You can kind of see it through some of his skins, but he's definitely got the biggest booty. Right? Like, look how big that booty be. <laughs> big booty. Bottoms first this episode. <laughs> this is what we said in this live stream. Bottoms first. <laughs> yeah, I like Eurus. <laughs> I just wish he... I wish he had better skins. But I guess I do like the skins without the booty flap the most. Because you can really appreciate, like, the curvature of this booty. <laughs> Okay, X-rated. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, I hate that NRS changed her eyes in the skin before she had blank white eyes, which she is normally depicted with, and then they changed it to awful glowing red eyes. What? Um, I'm pretty sure season 16 Sindel has always had pink eyes. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. In MK9, she had like glowing white eyes, but you know, this is um, uh, this is like supposed to be like a fantasy outfit. She, I think, like Kano had like the hots for Sindel, gave her like some bionic arms and put her in <laughs> open cleavage. <laughs> this is the backstory I've created for this skin. Okay, um, that one guy, I don't understand Netherrealm's decisions, me either. Charlie Ravens, hey friends, um, Sindel's Revenant skins IMO are all terrible, all the others are good. Oh, okay, yeah, the Revenant skins, hmm, I don't really enjoy a lot of the Revenant skins. Like I said, the only one that made this list was Revenant Jax, but I think that was also because there was like a lack a lack of good skins for him. Bo Raicho, Rain has good combos. Easy brutality. Classic is awesome. 10, 10, 10 out of 10 for me. Yay, Bo Raicho. Akira, hey there, Akira. Thank you, thank you, thank you um, for joining. Uh, this game is a whole other level when it comes to graphics and skins. There's no equal fight game yes i must agree this fighting game is really the most beautiful and uh if you're playing on playstation you're playing a subpar experience because truly i've played it on the pc you notice things that you don't see on the playstation version of the game i don't know if it's because there's some different engines or my video card is making it look so beautiful but yeah on the pc it looks so different that one guy sindel is one of my favorite character she has good skins i don't think she's ever had a bad look oh uh, yay um uh, bo raicho it changes the hair that's why um i think it's a little catholic schoolgirl vibe <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Yeah, I guess so, it's Joey. Um, did you guys ever go to Catholic school? I did. So, um, they, uh, the girls, the flirtatious ones, they would wear their, like, skirts real short. It was supposed to be below the knee. Sometimes it would be above. And they also had, like, this fashion of putting, like, really big paper, like, 
safety pins through it. I'm not sure what that was meant to denote. What was the connotation there? Um, a Bo Rai Cho, Scarlet, 10 out of 10. No complaints. Devora, 0 out of 10. Oh, no. <laughs> I love I love Devora though. Um, now none of Shao Kahn's skins look good to me because of the awful scales. Mm, I don't know. I'm not too bothered by them. I think a lot of his skins are not so bad, but I do love the golden one the most. Um, Bo Rai Cho, I don't really agree because it's only Revenant and then changed the color to any other outfit. Oh, okay. I hear you. Um, Night Wolf looks good. Even his Revenant looks nice, which is shocking yeah it's because he's got the tribal face paint so like that's w one way that it differs from other revenants is that he's got like something interesting going on across his whole body aside from the cracked skin and glowing eczema <laughs> he's got some other detail going on Okay, wow, lovely, lovely, lovely. Would love to know what is your favorite most beautiful skin in this game. Like I said, my top three are Sindel, Scarlet, and Rain. These are my top three. However, I might change my mind if you want to persuade me. Please leave a comment below. Let me know what is your most beautiful skin in this game. But don't forget to do all of that like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff because it really does help out with the channel. Getting the video out there, making the algorithms work, would be nice if you could do this for me. Yes, please. Also, please check out my other social medias, my Twitter, my Twitch, and my Discord, where we have a lovely, a positive FGC that I invite you to be part of. If you need a question answered, you need a 1v1, or you just need a friend, there's always someone there on the Jaded Rabbit Discord, 18+. plus. Only. Also, please consider joining the Jaded Bunny family. Yes, that's my secret family group club that you can be part of. We've got ourselves an infinite time crystal gl uh, glitch uh, family only events. So if you want to beat up my Jade or Devorah, totally doable. Let's do it. But please join the fam. You guys help support the channel. But yeah, you also get access to things like the glitch and my number one strategies. All of my secrets are yours. So much love to everyone in the fam including my newest bunny the serum god bless you thank you for being here the bunnies are just multiplying also much love to shoria uh it's noxious case cold andrew pace 20k nestor shiny hunter kenneth marcio your name here airy coffee gamer michael k ryan Darkside, ghoul mark danny rapid cancel thomas brazil tau Michael G, Sir Fire Eater, Joey, Michael R, Maruna, Steve, Andre, Ill Kid, Play Doctor, Snoopy Blind, FGC, The Joker, Yuri, Erdem, A Misanthrope, JJ, Calum, Dr. Eggman, Jason, Atomic Crossfire, Sean, Alina, Joel, Cider M, Ragnar, Rian, Chaos, and Steve. Queen Molina, OMG! Thank you, thank you, thank you, my brothers and sisters, for being part of the family after this video ends. Please do me a solid. Go check out Ragnar Re in Chaos. He makes some lovely videos featuring Frost. Would be amazing if you could pay him a visit as well. All right, so let's see what you guys are saying here. Hopefully, I'm not missing anything. Katana's human skin in this game is okay, but too stripey. It's like she's wearing clown pants. Oh. <laughs> wow, okay. Vicious. Savage. Um, this is the best skin in the game and I can't get it. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. Meteor Towers, my friend. And this thing is going to be in Combat League in a month from now. So not next season, but the season after. Charlie, um, the safety pins probably meant they were safe. No STDs. Okay. <laughs> Hashtag nerf flaps. I agree, Joey. I really hate these, like, crotch flaps, mud flaps that they put on the characters. Rebel. 
Scarlet Sindel Scorpion has a lot of great skins. Best default skins. Yay! Um, I would have to agree with Sindel. Not so much Scarlet. I actually think she has some of the worst base game skins in the game. She's the least feminine of the female roster. So, in the base game default skins i just so questionable some of those decisions that they made i don't know anyways but we all have our opinions lovely that we can share them here together and respect each other we really try to have a positive atmosphere here and it's only thanks to you that we're able to maintain it so thank you thank you thank you um but wow what a crazy time hopefully you enjoyed this but we will be coming back to you tomorrow with more mortal Kombat combat action please turn on that notification bell but until then please stay safe stay healthy stay happy bye my friends take care peace love you guys